Hey guys, this is Josh F151 Tech back with another video. And in this video, I actually wanted to give you guys a good update on when I'll actually be receiving the uh, Chester Cheetah AX3000 SDX75 gateway slash modem. Um, so he actually shipped it out yesterday. Um, and I'm actually going to be receiving it tomorrow on Friday, uh, which is actually the uh, 20th. So it was actually uh, supposed to be here on the, uh, the 21st. Um, but they actually said that it's going to be here uh, tomorrow instead, so that's definitely a good thing. Um, so it's actually coming United States Postal Service, which is actually a lot slower than UPS. He was actually going to ship it UPS, uh, but he told me that he wasn't able to do that for some kind of inconveniences or something like that. Uh, but he told me that he was going to ship it, the, you know, yesterday. So he shipped it out yesterday, and I'm actually really surprised that I'm going to get it this soon, because I was thinking that it would be here by Saturday, uh, you know, or next week at the, at the worst, you know. So uh, that's definitely a good thing. I mean, he is only in New York. He's only like a, you know, like an hour or so from me. I'm, I'm actually here in South Jersey. Uh, so his, you know, uh, his place is, you know, basically in New York. You know, the Chester Tech Repairs, uh, you know, is in New York. So it's not really that far from me, but, uh, you know, United States, you know, Postal Service, like I've said before, you know, we call it snail mail here, uh, because they're, you know, normally pretty, you know, pretty slow, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to get this, you know, I'm really excited to get this that fast, uh, you know, I was really surprised, you know, that I would actually be getting it tomorrow, so that's definitely a good thing, um, you know, it'll give me a chance, you know, on the weekend to mess around with it more and everything, uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually do any more speed tests with the Ninja uh, SDX65. You know, let me know down below in the comments, you know, if you guys want me to do some more tests on that uh, before I actually, you know, switch over to the SDX75. Uh, but I, I'm, you know, most likely going to keep that as a backup. Like I said, you know, I'm just going to keep that as a backup. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping for, you know, better overall reliability, you know, with the SDX-75, the AX-3000, SDX-75, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely hoping for, you know, obviously better upload speeds. Um, and then I'm also hoping, you know, for better download speeds as well, you know, and just overall better reliability, uh, you know, with the newest chip in there. So, um, but like I said, you know, I wanted to give you guys an update on this. You know, I'm very excited about this. Uh, you know, I didn't want to show any tracking, tracking information or anything like that. You know, that's why I just, you know, came here to the website. Uh, but I will leave the link down below into the website, you know, the Chester Tech Repairs website. Uh, you know, if you want to check over some of his stuff and everything, you know, like I said before, um, you know, I'm a really big, you know, supporter of him. You know, I've, I've actually looked around for SDX 75 gateway slash modems and I, uh, you know, I haven't found a price cheaper than him. So that's the thing. I mean, um, I actually went on Suncom, um, and I went on some other websites and I, you know, looked at some of them and they wanted to charge like $80 for shipping. And I'm like, wow. Um, you know, that's definitely not going to happen. So they want, basically they want like $700, you know, for what, you know, basically what he's selling it for. But on top of that, they want like $80 shipping. So you're looking close to like $800, $850. That's, you know, that's just ridiculous in my opinion. So, um, what I actually was going to do, I was going to actually, because he told me that I would be able to do this eventually, uh, what I was going to actually do, I was going to actually upgrade my Ninja SDX65 to the SDX75 uh, chip. He told me that I would actually be able to do that eventually, uh, and that would only cost around like $200 to do the upgrade. Um, but I just figured, you know, that I, that I wanted a backup, um, you know, so I wouldn't have to use like a loaner device or anything, you know, if I ever, ever had any problem, you know, with the gateway slash modem or anything like that. Um, you know, like say for example, you know, the same thing happened, uh, you know, that happened with the Chester Cheetah version 2 that I had SDX 65. Uh, you know, the firmware started acting up, say that happened again, uh, you know, with the SDX 75, you know, at least I would have a backup, uh, you know, with the Ninja SDX 65. So that's the thing. Um, you know, I want to, you know, keep that as a backup. I was actually going to sell that. Uh, you know, or maybe even sell it back to him, but I thought more about it, and I'm not going to do that, um, you know, I'm just going to hold on to it, you know, especially since, you know, the SDX75 is still somewhat new, um, it's no longer in beta, if I come down here, it says, you know, it's no longer in beta, it says this is now a non-beta release, 
Um, but I have actually heard some things on Reddit and stuff. Um, and he's actually messaging me now because I just messaged him and told him, you know, it's going to be out, you know, for delivery tomorrow. Um, but, uh, basically, you know, I've heard on Reddit, you know, that it says non-beta on here. Um, but I've actually heard on Reddit from people with the SDX 75 chips, uh, that they, they've been having problems like with specific towers, you know, like other towers, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, very area specific, like I said, you know, on my channel, you know, with the service itself, uh, you know, cellular home internet is very area specific anyway, but, um, I've heard on, uh, Reddit that people were actually saying that they were having problems band locking to certain bands, uh, using the SDX 75, and they actually had to revert back to using the SDX 65, uh, in their area because their towers were not, you know, compatible, uh, with the SDX 75, so, um, hoping that that's not going to be the case for me, but if it is, I could always just wait it out, uh, you know, like I said, you know, I'm going to keep the SDX, uh, 65 as a backup, I keep, you know, almost getting them confused because they're so confusing, uh, you know, SDX 75, SDX 65, you know, it can get pretty confusing, but, um, basically, long story short, you know, I decided to keep the, uh, Ninja SDX 65 as a backup, uh, you know, instead of selling it, you know, that way I can use it, you know, if I ever have, you know, anything go wrong with the SDX 75, so, um, basically what I'm saying is, you know, the SDX 75 is still basically new, uh, you know, he's saying that it's not in beta anymore, but it's still, you know, really new, so that's the thing, um, you know, it's probably best that I actually wait a little while until I actually, uh, you know, had the funds to get this, you know, and that kind of helped me out as well, because that's the thing, um, you know, he's probably had more time, you know, to tinker with it and everything, you know, and get it, uh, you know, out of the beta stages and everything, because before, um, actually about a month or so ago, I was going to buy it, and it was still in beta stages, um, and I kind of, you know, I asked on Reddit, you know, if I should go ahead and buy it, and people were like, well, uh, you know, I would wait until it gets out of beta stages and all that, you know, so I kind of waited it out for a little while, um, and then, you know, I thought to myself, well, it's no longer in beta now, so, um, you know, that's the thing, uh, sorry if you guys can hear that, I'm actually walking around right now, I'm, you know, making some, uh, tea and stuff, but, um, you know, I just wanted to get a quick video out and, you know, talk about this, you know, I'm really, you know, like I said, I'm really excited about this, I'm really excited, uh, you know, in the, with the future with this, with the SDX 75, so, um, but like I said, you know, I will, uh, keep you guys updated on this, you know, I'm probably gonna do a quick unboxing and an overview of it, um, you know, it's basically just like the Chester Cheetah version 2 that I had, uh, the SDX 65, but, um, you know, like I said, you know, it has a, you know, a different chip in it, you know, it has the newest chip in it, the SDX 75, so, um, you know, like I said, you know, that's supposed to be a lot better, it's supposed to be a lot more reliable, um, you know, and just, you know, overall, you know, better reliability, it's supposed to be, you know, over the SDX 65, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, that's basically where we're at, you know, so I'm really excited, like I said, I can't believe I'm actually going to be getting this tomorrow, uh, you know, like I said, I'm probably going to do a, you know, a quick unboxing and overview of it, um, you know, what I really do like about this, though, is, um, and I'll probably talk more about that in the video, I really like that there's indicator lights, as you guys can see right there on the front, um, you know, I really like that it, you know, has more indicator lights than the Ninja, you know, that's not really that big of a deal, but, um, you know, I actually have a tablet, uh, set up on my, you know, you guys saw it on my, uh, video when I did a, uh, you know, a video about, you know, I showed you guys the Ninja set up in my room, um, on the shelf there, you know, I actually have a tablet set up, um, you know, showing me the signal strength and all that kind of stuff, well, you know, I wouldn't have to do that with this because it has the, you know, the power indicator there, it has the Wi-Fi, uh, indicator there, I'm not going to use the Wi-Fi, but it's really a nice feature to have, um, you know, I'm going to use my Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6C mesh Wi-Fi system, um, but, you know, it's really nice to have as a backup, and then it has the 4G icon there, and then it has the 5G icon there, so, I'm also hoping, because I, I only get, 
Uh, you know, like I said, I have a waveform 4x4 antenna. I say this in my videos all the time. Um, a waveform 4x4 external antenna uh, hooked up to the Ninja as we speak right now. Um, and I also had that hooked up to my SDX65 uh, Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem. Um, but I've, I've only been able to get like a weak 5G signal with that. Um, so I'm hoping maybe this chip will actually help that. Maybe it'll help it get better, uh, you know, signal quality overall. You know, maybe, maybe it'll help it, you know, uh, go from a weak 5G signal to it maybe at least a good 5G signal. Or, or maybe even a great 5G signal. But I'm not, you know, I'm not going to really, you know, get greedy or anything. You know, I mean, with the, with the weak 5G signal, you know, we still get 500 to 600 on the download, which is definitely not bad. Um, you know, sometimes like 700. But, um, you know, that's the thing. I'm just looking for overall, you know, better reliability, you know, with the waveform 4x4 antenna connected to it. So, um, you know, not, not the speeds that I get right now are bad by any means. You know, they're definitely a lot better than, uh, you know, I was getting with the stock, you know, T-Mobile 5G home internet equipment or the stock, you know, Metro by T-Mobile 5G home internet equipment. But, um, you know, I'm just, you know, looking for overall better reliability. You know, that's the thing. Even if it's still... Uh, you know, is a weak 5G signal, you know, as long as I get better speeds, um, you know, than I did with the SDX65, you know, I'll be happy, that's the thing, I'm not going to really worry, uh, you know, too much about the, uh, you know, the signal quality, you know, I know some people say, um, you know, the signal quality matters, but actually it doesn't really matter, because I've, I've tested that, uh, you know, myself, I've seen that for myself, you know, I have a weak 5G signal, um, and I still get 500 to 600, occasionally 700 on the download, um, but the upload speed is terrible in this area, you know, I talked about that before, um, so like I said, you know, I'm definitely hoping that I can just get all around, all around better reliability, um, you know, especially with the upload speed, you know, the download speed is good enough, but the upload speed is just terrible, um, you know, so I'm definitely hoping, you know, that this helps, uh, you know, with that, and, you know, like I said, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe it'll even help with the, you know, the weak 5G signal, you know, maybe it'll even give me a good 5G signal, um, you know, or a great 5G signal, so we'll just have to wait and see, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, just wanted to get this video out there, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.